Hi, this is Maddie. This is Peter with Polaris Rose. Hi, this is Andy Roman from Elm Treason. And this is Bobby Steele from Elm Treason. This is Joe Butch, and you're listening. One. Hey, this is Joe. <laughs> hey, y'all, this is Michael Daughtry. Hey, Dave, yeah, from Rush Club. What? Hey, this is the no. What? We are Coleus. This is Mr. Susan. You are listening to New Music Saturday with Dr. Bones and Mad Anderson's. Those guys are crazy. Right on, and welcome back to Music Saturday Part 2, and that last uh, little blurb was from, uh, from Mr. Susan, which is awesome. And of course, we have our favorite special guest host, the lovely Forgotten Bee. Hello. So, <laughs> wow, uh, wow that, was, that was quite the intro. Thank you for that. <laughs> so, so, she is joining us because the Madisons are out of town, and we wouldn't have it any other way than having Forgotten Bee as a special guest host. So, uh, for Part 2B... We're going to kick it off with a band who has an album, a new album out. This band is called High Low, and the song is called Auto Spy. Dig this. <laughs>
High Low, and that is the self-titled song, of, well, self-titled song, that's a song off their newest album called Auto Spy, and the song's called Auto Spy, and, you know, this is great, I always love High Low, the fuzz rock they do is always so cool, and they always really, really take their time with it, so it always comes out, I mean, really good, and it can be frustrating in some instances waiting for the stuff to come out, but once you get the finished product, you know, it's well worth the wait. I love that. It's frustrating. You know what it's like for musicians. It's hard. Oh, absolutely, they, of course. They I mean, go off, don't they, and hide away, and you know. I mean, but I love the rawness. Um, very catchy, sharp. Um, I like the change of rhythm and the guitar interlude and the drum beat going through. They're yeah, really good. And I haven't heard this. I mean, I've got their other albums and stuff, so or EPs. So for me, yeah, cool. Well, yeah, exactly. Like I said, you know, it's frustrating, but it's well worth the wait. So, yeah. And yes, I understand what they go through because I've interviewed a lot of them, so I understand the, <laughs> the the frustrations and pains and stuff that can just happen while you're recording or getting right. sets in the studio, right? So yeah. next up, we have the latest single from Polaris Rose. This one's called Tiger Bait. Dig this. Tiger Bait, the newest single by Polaris Rose, and 
these two are very cool. I have interviewed them before, and they're part of the intro. Peter and Madly, well, Madeline, but Maddie. Anyways, uh, you know, this is a great tune. Like, I always love the vocals. They always harmonize so well. And the flow this one really got me because there's a, um, a couple parts, and I was telling B off here. Uh, the taking over part, I mean, this. I'm not sure if this, probably not, I'm going to guess probably not, but what I picked up uh, in, in that little twang is reminding me, and get this, for people, I guess, are B, B's and my age, roughly. Oh, well, thanks, well <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, I'm singling myself out here, too, so just don't, uh, you know, just, you know, relax. <laughs> but it was reminding me of Huey Lewis in the News. Yeah. Like they're from their album Sports. Like uh, uh, if this is it, like this, just a little bit, a little bit of it. Like I said, may not be what they're what they were going for, but for me, that's what kind of reminded me of just that little twang, just off like it a half, like a... yeah. There was definitely a twang there, and I, I mean, they always do great harmonies, and I really, I remember staying up. I was saying to you, wasn't I, in the break that I'd stayed up mm. and ridiculous. I don't. Why did, did I stay up or did I just wake up? I don't know. I but it was think you might have. Morning. I think you woke up actually. I think I wake up. And yeah. Went, oh, there we go. There's an interview on. I think I'll just tune in, and I did, and it was really interesting, and yeah, really nice. You know, really cool people, and yeah, great. I like, but I do love the harmonies. They seem to get that sort of, you know, totally right, don't they? Absolutely. Again, like I said, they're like I love tuning stuff. I'm just dying for more stuff to come out. So next up, we're going to get to a brand new one by the Dennis McCalma Band. And this one's called The Best Days of My Life. Dig this. <laughs> And the best is of my life 